Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna vlog today and a bit of tomorrow. It's Friday. Happy Friday. And I don't know if you can tell by my outfit, but I am going for a run. After a two month hiatus of not running, I am gonna get back into it. I'm a, I don't plan on running a lot this winter because it's winter and it's freezing, but I miss it. So I'm going to go for a run. Jay's coming with me. I don't know what distance we're gonna do yet. Not very far. <laughs> I haven't ran in two months, so I really don't wanna push myself too hard. Meters. 500 meters. 500 meters sprint. We'll run to McDonald's. But yeah, this is my outfit. So I'm wearing this on zip. It's actually kind of warm today. It's like 12 degrees. I have a Lululemon headband on because I have the most sensitive ears ever. And if the wind just touches them, my ears hurt. My leggings are Lululemon fast and free leggings. These are great for running. They're really lightweight. They literally feel like nothing. And then I'm wearing a new pair of sneakers. I was gifted these. These are Reeboks. I've never ran in Reeboks before, so we'll see how these go. But I thought black would be nice for the fall and winter just because it wouldn't get as dirty with the monkey ground. But yeah, gonna go on a run. I'm excited. We gotta warm up. Yeah. Gotta do some, what are they called? No. <laughs> we need to do <laughs> we need to do some dynamic stretches. That's what I was gonna say. It's dynamic stretching time, baby. And then it's run time. Jay looks like a runner. Chelsea's gonna lead you through a stretch. What? Go on. <laughs> stretch with Chelsea. I can just see myself in the thing. Okay. We're gonna start off by doing some oh, you got that? What's it called? Hip flexor stretches. Open the gate. Leg Open over the, the gate. gate. Leg over Open the gate. Open the gate. Open the gate. And then this side. <laughs> right. Right. What do you call these? Toe touches. Legs. Well, no, just swing your legs. Leg swings. Not everyone can touch your toe. <laughs> <laughs> Leg swings. I do like ten aside. This is how I warmed up every time. Yeah, you're letting the people know. It's good. Nine times. I don't know if that was ten. And I'll do it on this side. I used to do these. I used to do this on my balcony. I'd walk back and forth. Right. And do these. Yeah, there's a balcony there. You can do it. Oh yeah, there's so much room out there. <laughs> what? What are they called? They're just reaches. Reaches. Yeah. Any tips for while you're doing your reaches? Form? No. Just. Keep the front leg straight. All right. When you're sweeping. Yeah. Straight, and you bend the other one, and you sweep down. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> and then I used to do these for my hips. So I go down like this. this yeah. Much, and I go back and forth. Yep, like good this. stuff. To open your hips up because a lot of times when you run, if you don't stretch your hips, you'll get hip pain. Correct. Right here. It's not fun when your hips hurt while you're running. Mm -hmm. So I do these. One that looks funny, but if you want to warm up your calves, you can jump on the squat. Warms your calves up. <laughs> <laughs> can you? <laughs> what are these called? It's just triple switches. Triple switches. Okay, now you got to warm up. Hug your hammies. You can do this. Yep. And this. No. No. Why not? Because that's not dynamic. Walk. This? You walk and, and hug. Walk and hug. Walk and hug. There we go. <laughs> okay, let's go. Thank you. Welcome. Well done. Now you need to stretch. You need to stretch. All right. Like one, not even one and a half K in. Honestly, I feel good. <laughs> We're not running in two months. I feel fine. I feel like I can talk. But we are going this way. Oh god. I have never ran in the fall before. I didn't know. Never. My only shirt is netting. No, it's not Nay. Yeah. Nothing. I'll take y'all. Y'all. I'm done. <laughs> y'all. This is definitely. I hope it works because this is rocking. <laughs> 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 He's a track star. Are those shoes good for running? 
Are those shoes good for running? What are they? Yeah. See! I'm also wearing Reeboks. <laughs> Stunning view! It is much later than I filmed earlier. Let's see, I filmed because I just want to run. Yeah. That's a fail. It's nighttime now. <laughs> and we're going to Snakes and Cats. Snakes and Cats, which I've never been to before. We're really excited. It's basically like they have drinks, food, lattes, desserts, and board games. We're going to Jason's house. So off we go. It is the next day. It is Saturday and I'm just getting ready. My parents are actually driving into Toronto in a bit. We're gonna be going out for dinner, them and my boyfriend, which is gonna be really nice. I'm really excited um, for that. And also they're bringing all my Christmas decor because I'm gonna decorate for Christmas tomorrow, which I am so excited to decorate and get my apartment feeling all cozy. Another thing, I bought silver earrings. These are just off Amazon. And I think I like silver on me. I'm not gonna lie. What do you guys think? Let me know. I thought I would do my makeup now while the sun's out. It's like 3 p.m. I'm going for dinner at 6. So it should last fine for three hours. I'm gonna be using the Rose Ink Skin Enhance Luminous Tinted Serum because this is a non-comodogenic, non-pore clogging product. So I'm just gonna do one pump for now. Sorry if you guys can hear banging. There's like someone's getting rhinos in my building. So that's quite loud, but that's okay. And I'm just gonna like, you like mix it up on your hand first and then you apply it onto your face. This is in the shade four, which is I think like a light neutral color, which should match me pretty well. I'm quite pale right now, which I don't mind. I remember I told you guys in the previous video that I'm not using any self tanner. And this product is so, natural looking like it just kind of evens out your skin tone a little bit without providing much coverage my makeup is in this bag which is overwhelming at times it's like i like having a lot of makeup but then also it drives me nuts this is the Giorgio armani concealer in the shade 3.75 and i'm just going to use this underneath my eyes and that's it it's quite light for me so i just use this here to like brighten up, especially if I'm looking a little bit tired. And I only put it in my inner corner, in my outer corner when I do concealer underneath my eyes now that I'm a bit older because I don't like all the fine lines and stuff. And it settles a lot in those, like every concealer does, honestly. So I just kind of focus it in here and I don't use a lot. I think that's like the key is not using too much product. For my bronzer, I love this Nude Sticks um, Nudies Matte in Bondi Bell. This is like their lighter shade versus the Bondi Bay, I think it is, or Bondi something. Um, this one's just a bit lighter. So I just take this in my cheekbones and then I'll use it to contour my nose as well. I'm just using this hourglass brush. It's like slightly angled and I'm kind of like blending and tapping. I'm using like a blend tap motion to just blend this out. My forehead, I like to try and just blend it into the hairline because the last thing you want is like a line on your forehead. And then my nose, I'm just going to blend out. Try and be nice and precise with the nose contour. And then for my blush, my current favorite is Sweet Cheeks by Nude Sticks. I use this like all the time, literally every day, because it's just so freaking pretty. It's like the prettiest pink. I like to take it on a brush like this and then apply it. I feel like it's just like the most natural way to do it. And you can make sure that you don't do too much and layer it up as you go. And then I always take some just on my nose as well, like right across. The bridge, I think that kind of gives you a bit of that like flushed, more natural look. I'm gonna just powder a little bit now. I only need powder a tiny bit because with the weather right now, my skin is definitely like a lot drier, so I don't like to overdo it. I don't wanna get too dry and like cakey looking. 
I'd rather look glowing than cakey. So I'm just pulling this into my T-zone here. And then I always set my blush as well with a powder blush. I just feel like it makes it last a bit better. So I'm taking just the Hourglass Sublime Flush in, sorry, Ambient Blush in Sublime Flush, which is another really pretty pink. It's kind of like a mix of like pinks and lavenders in this, but I just think it's so pretty. And I just take this to my cheeks as like an extra layer and I feel like it just kind of locks the blush in so that it doesn't go anywhere. Now I'm going to just do my eyebrows quickly. I just use this Benefit Clear Brow Gel. I don't fill in my eyebrows anymore. I just feel like it looks more natural not to. So I just set them into place with an eyebrow gel. Now if I fill in my eyebrows, I feel like it looks weird because I've just stopped filling them in for so long now. The curse of like an off the shoulder sweater is that it just constantly is riding up. This one is so cute though. It's from um, Aritzia. I just got it recently, but I'm gonna use just this 1111 eyeshadow palette from ColourPop. So I'm just gonna use this Lucky Babe, Lucky Babe eyeshadow. And I'm honestly gonna apply this probably just like all over my lid and call her a day. Just decrease the lid everywhere. Like so, just really natural. So I'm gonna take the same eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna go into this like darkest brown shade right here. And I'm just gonna use that to line my lash line. And I'll do a little wing with my other. I'm gonna use this YSL mascara, Lash Clash. Lash Clash. I'm trying not to have a lisp and failing miserably. That's a really weird angle. <laughs> and then we're just gonna do our lips, which I'm gonna do something really natural as always, but I'm just gonna use, where is it? Where is it? my Dior lip oil and a lip liner from Urban Decay. This is literally the color of my lips, which is insane. It's the Urban Decay lip liner in Broken and it's the color of my lips, guys. Like, it's actually crazy how accurate it is to my lips. My lips are so dry. Anyways, I don't overline my lips. Literally, I just line the shape of them. And then we're gonna go in with the Lip Glow in Cherry. This is like their lip oil. I love this shade so much. And that's my makeup done. I am now officially ready for dinner. That isn't for another two hours and 40 minutes. <laughs> It's fine, it's fine. No, oh, actually I'm gonna set my face using the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. We are ready to rock and roll. We're just going to a pizza place, so I'm not dressed up. I'm wearing a sweater and jeans, but I actually did my hair. <laughs> I curled it, I feel like it looks so good. Hair and makeup is done. Feeling good. I wanna get a silver necklace to match. My new earrings. So these earrings are gold. So right now I'm like 100% mixing metals. I have this ring on, which was my mother's. It's like a sapphire, I think, sapphires that she gave to me. It reminds me of the Vampire Diaries. Like I feel like it's my daylight ring. That's what I tell myself. And then this is a like clattering, though clattering, though it's not really one. I got this from um, the M Jewelers. I think it's what it's called uh, in New York City. I was gifted it and it's kind of a clatter, clattering, but I think when I go to Ireland, um, hopefully I'll be going there, I will buy a new one. I want a legit one and I would like to get one in Ireland if I can. So that's that. This necklace is Majori. I really like it because it's really simple, but again, it's gold and I'm thinking about for the winter switching to silver. So I might have to try and get some silver jewelry eventually but I love these earrings and then this one's gold. So right now I'm mixing metals, but I don't really care because who made the rules? Who says you can't mix metals? 
you know, I do what I want. And what I want is to mix metals right now because I don't have enough silver jewelry to just wear silver. <laughs> I have no choice, but I like to pretend that I'm doing it for the fashion. But anyways, we'll see y'all in a bit. Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. It is the next day. And today is going to be a Christmassy day because I'm decorating for Christmas. And Jay's going to help me. But I have some stuff here already, but we're going to go. We have to walk to Jay's, but we have Christmas decor that my parents dropped off. Garland. I already put that up because I'm going to leave it on the floor. I have some things there, this thing. And I have my new Christmas tree, which I'm so excited to put up and see what it looks like. My mom's the same one and she loves it. So all this stuff and little Millie. And we're also gonna go to Home Sense, which I'm so excited to look at the Christmas stuff. I don't need that much stuff, but I do want to look and see what's there. I might get Christmas sheets or something if there's cute ones. So that is the game plan. Let's go. Guys, it is officially time to put up the Christmas tree now. I just took like a two hour nap. No, it was like an hour. It took like an hour nap when we got back from running errands. But I'm gonna put my tree now, which I'm so excited. But first I'm gonna put something on the TV. Some sort of Christmas movie. Hopefully something festive. And then it's putting up the tree time. That's the main priority currently. I'm so excited. Outside, the snow is falling down, and every child is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size as me, with a smile as quirky as mine. We're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform, and all the Christmas songs that we love. Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love. And in a while, we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. All I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe baby with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe baby with you Making plans for what we're gonna do I feel so blessed that I can be with you Cause God knows that I've been longing for ya I just wanna hold you close You know the stars are shining just for you Let's take a walk and we can follow the moonlight Till we reach a place we can stay Maybe kiss a bit and dream away And in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you 